Todd Holt joins us now via Skype from Cochrane, Alberta. Todd is a former junior hockey player. He suffered sexual abuse at the hands of Graham James. He's also the cousin, as we mentioned, of retired NHL star Theo Fleury. Todd, thanks for being with us. Hey, Karen. No problem. What is the outcome, Todd, that you're looking for in this appeal case? Um, Karen, I don't think the outcome that everybody is looking for is going to happen here in this particular case. Um, you know, Graham James got walked away in 97 with a, a slap on the wrist. That is, it was classified as a slap on the wrist back then. And then, and then gets two years uh, later on. Um, it's... It's something that has to be considered um, a farce. Um, I don't think the, the sentences are as strong or as, are anywhere nearly as as as, as hideous as the crimes themselves. Um, you know, a perfect example is the Sandusky case, where Mr. Sandusky will be uh, locked away for the majority of the rest of his life. Todd, if the if the sentence had been six years, would that have even been enough? Well, that's exactly what we talked about earlier, and I said we, you know, a hundred years wouldn't be enough. Um, you know, keeping Graham James off the streets is ultimately our goal. Um, we know he'll 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 do it again. We know he'll uh, abuse the children again. It's it's not a matter of um, him being rehabilitated. I don't think any of them get rehabilitated. Um, I think that Graham is is a sick individual and and has a. As, uh, and I had admitted in court when we were there three months ago that he or six months ago or whenever we were there, he admitted that he preferred young boys. So if someone has said that, but they're rehabilitated, they're not going to do it no more. I think that's uh, a far, far way up from seeing, seeing things right now. It's my understanding that he would have been eligible for parole in July, but hasn't applied for, your, for, for it yet. I mean, beyond relief, which I'm sure that's one sentiment you might be feeling. Any thought as to why that might be? Well, the ploy. <laughs> He's trying to look like the, the, the good boy, the, the, the man who's really uh, concerned with everything now, today. Um, you know, if, if Graham James had any recollection or any remorse or anything, you know... He wouldn't have done it at all. This is, he's, he's a sick man. He, he, he took our lives and he took our innocence and took our lives away from us. And, and, and really, like I, I think about everything that he's done. I think of all the stuff that, that Graham's affected. Graham James didn't just affect myself. He didn't just affect um, Theron or Sheldon or the other players. You know, it's, it's, a, it's an entire ripple effect. Um, I, I think of my, my mother and my father, my siblings, um, my fiancé and my children, Chase and Kaylin, and I think of um, everyone who, who's, who's around me and how they're affected, how much that affects them, how much they're concerned or how much they're, they feel bad or not. It's, it's the entire ripple effect that, that Graham James has affected so many other people. So if, when people think it's just... Graham against me, it's not. He, he, he took my whole life. He took the, the son away that my parents loved so dearly. He took the, the, the little brother away that my siblings loved so much. I left everyone for many years. So for Graham to just go away for a couple of years and come out and say that I'm good and I'll go back to Mexico and live with a poverty family with young kids, I think it's an absolute farce. Todd, where are you at right now in your healing process? I think I'm in a good place right now. I'm in a, I'm in a place, Karen, where I can, you know, I can honestly look at myself today in the mirror. I can, I can, I can ask for help. I can let people know that I'm having a bad day. Where, you know, where I, I, I was always so proud and so uh, humiliated to to face the day. Um, my recovery today is just about living life. Um, I want I want to protect the children of tomorrow. I don't want anyone to experience what I experienced. Um, I don't want my stepchildren. I don't want my boys. I don't want my nieces and nephews. I don't want your children. I don't want no one's children to have to go through the the, the emptiness and the, the feeling of, of, of no love and all the things that you experience, these weird emotions that I've taken 15, 20, 25 years to, to be able to... Uh, uh, go sort through and find out what they mean. Todd Holt, former junior hockey player, joining us from Cochrane, Alberta. It always is a pleasure to talk to you. Thanks for being with us, Todd.
Ken, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for doing this and getting my voice up there. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, Theo Fleury is also voicing his opinion and dismay in the justice system, and he issued a statement today. It reads, whatever happens on December 3rd with the Crown's application to appeal the James sentence will result in an inadequate outcome because the current justice system is not structured to be effective and protect victims, survivors, victors, and advocates of childhood sexual abuse. By the way, later this week, Fleury is expected to announce a new initiative to help victims of abuse.